Hey everybody, it's Emily from Little Mama Bear Vlog, and I'm here again with my friend Jana Kay, the amazing YouTuber. In our last video, we were talking about the nine types of the Enneagram and briefly going through some attributes of each of those. Today, we are going to be talking about how understanding the Enneagram is helpful in our relationships. So I am a two, and I'm a nine. My husband is a nine. My husband is a two. <clears throat> He is a EMT and a volunteer firefighter. I know a lot of people who are too, especially guys, will be like a first responder or work in that field. Hunter always wants to help people. Ever since I've known him, that was something that really attracted me to him Aww. because I noticed that he would always go out of his way to help other people. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. Come on! And I was like, I like that. Most of the time, his plate is always really, really full. He's always saying yes to things that he doesn't need to do. For example, at the volunteer fire department, there was one day where he had to work a 48-hour shift. They wanted him to work a 56-hour shift. And I knew he was going to be really tired. He wanted to say yes so badly because he knew there was a need there. He felt bad and he said no. Even though it would be ridiculous of him to work 56 hours, which does happen sometimes for his field of work. I was really glad that he did say no because I knew that was hard for him. So a two will say yes to things and self-sacrifice their butts off without even realizing that they're doing it. Like, it almost seems like that's just what you're supposed to do, right? We really have that inner voice that's always saying, you can do more, you can do more for somebody else. Yeah, I definitely see that in Hunter. Because no matter what, he's always willing to give more. At the same time, I know it's hard because if you keep pouring out, then you have nothing left for yourself. Just gonna ask Cece. But next time you guys want advice about girls, don't come crawling to me. You got it. That sounds good. Yeah, no, I can No, that was a joke. I love it when you guys ask me stuff. Same with you. You will give and give and give and give and then have nothing left for yourself. Then I will be thinking in the back of my head without telling anybody, I'm gonna do all this stuff and then everybody else is gonna really appreciate it. And they're gonna like pour out all this appreciation and love towards me and they're gonna take care of me. I mean, I know that we said no big gifts, but I was kind of hoping you'd get me something for Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day isn't over. The thing is that when you don't communicate things, people can't read your mind. Yeah. So it, it becomes a really unfair, passive-aggressive situation where right. I'm like, I did this for you, you should just know that you're supposed to do something yeah. for me. You never, ever appreciated me. I would work my fingers to the bone all day with the kids, with the cooking and the cleaning and the laundry, and then you'd waltz in with your list of demands and not even a thank you. That's right. Deborah understands. <laughs> That is something that's been really helpful for me to know about myself with my marriage. Ryan can't read mine. What? what? So and I can't read your mind either. So if you're like having a bad day or you're really feeling like you need extra support, it's hard for you to express that need. I think I need a hug. But at the same time, you want people to give it to you without you having to say it. Oh, snap, son. My husband does the same thing. It's been helpful to realize those things because I can talk about it with people in my life that are too. I can tell him, like you said, I can't read your mind. You have to tell me. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Tell us a little bit about being a nine. One really common trait of being a nine is you feel like you can relate with every single Enneagram type. I would read all the types and be like, I could be that one. I could be that one. I really felt like I could relate with all of them and I wasn't sure what I was for a while. Who am I? Definitely I know for sure that I'm a nine now. It's been really helpful for me in my marriage because it helps me to remember that I need to speak up and take time to organize my thoughts because it's really hard for me to sit down and to think, okay, well, what do I think about this? And remember that it matters. Stop! <coughs> I have feelings! As for nines, a lot of times they think, well, it doesn't matter if I have my own opinion or if I want to do this because it's just going to cause drama or trouble, so I'm just going to go with the flow and do everything that everyone else wants to do. I'm fine. <laughs> 
But then I will start to resent people if they walk all over me, and then I'll explode or just like avoid them. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you'd give up so easily. It's not your dream, after all. Why should it be, Mr. Big Shot Radio Host? <laughs> oh, is that what this, uh, this little tantrum is all about, huh? You're, you're jealous of my celebrity? It's not a tantrum and I'm not jealous. I'm just fed up! <laughs> That's not healthy either. So it's kind of finding a balance between knowing like when something matters, I need to speak up because it does matter. And that's still really hard for me. Twos and nines can often be confused with each other because they have similar attributes. That whole, you should kind of know how I feel without saying anything. I see that a lot with my husband too. He will automatically give up and do whatever I want to do. He won't even tell me that he doesn't want to do that sometimes. One time we went on a date and we were going to see a movie and the movie was sold out. I said, we could just walk around. This is a really pretty square. We could just go maybe get some dinner. And he was like, well, I wanted to see the movie, but uh, okay, that's fine. Later that night, he told me that he was really upset that we didn't get to see the movie. He would have rather just go to another theater he didn't tell me. Being a two it made me so sad because I would have very easily given him what he wanted. You were so lost you didn't even know what kind of eggs you like. So that's part of the whole 9-2 relationship. You really have to be honest with each other and not be sensitive at the same time. Yeah, that's really hard. I totally understand that thought process because I will do the same thing. But it's not because I'm thinking to myself, oh, you guys are just kind of on it. It's more like it takes me time to process the fact that that was something important to me and that I should have spoken up about it. My first reaction is just, oh, it doesn't matter, let's just move on. And then I realized later that was important to me. I should have acted on that. Baby, now come on, would you please tell me what it is that made you so mad at me? I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> if you can't remember, can't we just forget about this? Oh no, I am mad at you, I know that much. So it's really helpful to learn about the Enneagram when it applies to your relationships. I honestly did not understand that everybody else thinks a different way. There are certain people who think the same way that I do, but then there are people who think completely differently than the way that I do. I feel like it gives you a little bit more grace for people. Right, because you can think, oh, well, they don't see the world the way that I do, so I shouldn't expect them to act the way that I do. Exactly. We can both see the same situation and process it in a different way. What, baby? Cool. Is that all we're going to say? It's fine. So thank you for watching. If you haven't seen our other video explaining what the Enneagram is and a little bit about each type, then we will have a link for that. Like and subscribe and comment below with what Enneagram if you haven't taken the Enneagram test, we can leave a link in the description below. Also, there's some podcasts that we like to listen to. My favorite is Typology and The Road Back to You. So you guys should check those out. Bye! Bye.